Hey Wood Mice and Dormice, it's Miss Sansom here and we are going to be doing our next session of our jigsaw learning today. We're still carrying on with dreams and goals. Today we're on piece five, which is all about a flight to the future. To start with, we are going to begin with our calm me time. So make sure you're lying down or you're sat somewhere quiet. You can close your eyes and you can rest your hands on your tummies ready to start. I'm going to begin by ringing the jigsaw chime and I'm going to invite you to listen until you can't hear the sound anymore. Listen, listen. Now take a deep breath in through your nose and puff out your rainbow breath through your mouth. Imagine you are blowing little hearts of kindness out as you breathe out through your mouth. Little hearts of kindness float around. Feel your tummies go up and down as you breathe. Feel calm, peaceful and safe. So breathe in a big and gentle breath through your nose and gently breathe out your rainbow breath and imagine lots of little rainbow coloured hearts floating out on your breath, out through your mouth, spreading kindness as they float away. Let's try that again. Feel your tummies get bigger and smaller as they breathe in and out, like a balloon blowing up and then going down. Imagine lots of rainbows, rainbow coloured hearts floating around our circle, and some of them very gently land on you, making you feel loved and happy. Kindness makes you feel loved and happy. Can you pretend you're catching the rainbow heart as you land on you? Can you feel the kindness in your heart? as they land on you. How are you feeling now? Hopefully you're feeling calm, peaceful, quiet, strong, maybe gentle or kind. For our next part of our session, we are going to take a journey to the future. The future means something that is coming up ahead. So if you look into the future, Today, we're going to be looking into when we are grown-ups. I want you to sit quietly again or lie somewhere. Again, you can close your eyes because I'm going to take you on that journey and we're going to get onto this rocket. So imagine you're stepping into the rocket. So you've got your seatbelt on to keep you nice and safe. And once we're sitting comfortably, we're going to do our countdown from 10 to take us to the future. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We've taken a journey through time and we're now going to imagine that you are adults and you're having a look at a job that you could do as an adult. I put some pictures up here of different jobs. So we've got a nurse here, we've got a builder, and we've got a teacher. We're going to use these three jobs to help us to start with and think about what did all of these people who are doing these jobs need to be able to do to have the job that they are now doing. Let's have a look at our nurse. So nurses and doctors at the moment are doing a fantastic job of caring for people. What do you think that nurse needs to do to be able to become a nurse? Well, to become a nurse, it's really important that you are kind and caring. They also need to learn a little bit of science. They need to know about how the body works. So they would also need to work hard in science to be able to become a nurse. Looking now at our builder, so builders, this builder here, you can see it looks like she's building a brick wall or it may be the start of a house. What do you think the builder needs to be able to help her? So when she was at school, what do you think she needs to be able to do to be able to get the job that she wanted? It's really important when you are a builder, that you are able to measure things. 
So our builder would have needed to be able to measure accurately, just like we're learning this week, pretty early on. Having a look now at our teacher. So from very early on, our teacher would have been needed to work hard at reading and writing. Be able to teach other people how to read and write. It's important that as a teacher, we are able to read and write well to be able to support you and other children to be able to do it. The next part of our session, I would like you to think about what your dream job is. So when you become an adult and it's your time to start thinking about a job that you would like to do, what job would it be? I've got some ideas here. You might decide you want to be a pilot or a dancer or a mechanic or a doctor. I would like you to tell your grown up at home what your dream job is. I'd then like you to draw a picture of it. Once you've drawn your picture and you've decided on your dream job, I then want you to talk to somebody at home about what you need to be able to learn to help you to do that job. So if you want to be a dancer, it's really important that you practice your dancing lots and lots so that you can be the best dancer possible. Again, if you want to be a doctor, they need to learn lots about the human body. They'd need to know the bones and different parts of the body. They would need to start learning all that to help them to achieve their dream job. Once you've drawn your picture and you've had a chat with somebody at home about how you'll be able to achieve that dream job, we would like to hear about how you got on and see pictures of your drawings of your dream job.